Let's take a moment to talk about seromas. Now first, let's cover what is a seroma. Well, a seroma is essentially a fluid-filled cyst that occurs anywhere in a negative space. Now, a negative space is a space that's left over after tissue is removed. Anytime there is a lumpectomy, a mastectomy, a breast reduction surgery, or any type of surgery where tissue is being removed, that empty space, once it's closed, can fill with fluid and it encapsulates itself. So the body has a lot of difficulty reabsorbing this fluid on its own. Now, there are times when seromas are unknown to the patient, but oftentimes it's very palpable, meaning you can actually feel it. It may cause pain. It may cause limitations in motion. And this fluid buildup tends to be a variety of different post-inflammatory fluids that the body makes, including lymphatic fluid. So for certified lymphedema therapists, this is a red flag to us that indicates there is essentially already a problem with our lymphatic system. It's just not reabsorbing fluid as it should be. So this is an early sign of potential lymphedema as well as potentially causing infections and progressive pain. So how do we treat a seroma? Well, usually a doctor needs to aspirate this fluid with a needle. But because we're going into a capsule, sometimes these seromas do reform and refill, requiring multiple aspirations. So it's very important to understand how to treat it from a non-surgical standpoint. These treatments include proper compression. Now these seromas often occur nearby the incision sites or the scars. So it's really important to know how to compress properly what is the most appropriate compressive garment or bandage to use in this case. Additionally, you want to restrict repetitive motion in the area. So particularly if this is in a breast or chest wall near the armpit, you want to stay in this 90 degree and below plane. You don't want to do repetitive motions above 90 degrees. Now, of course, if you have mobility and you're performing an exercise program, you do want to continue that. You're able to lift your hands up to put a t-shirt on and brush hair and do things of that nature. It's the repetition that you really have to be aware of. So if you feel excessive puffiness, now remember, after any surgery, there's going to be inflammation. That's our body's normal response to surgery. A seroma usually feels different because it's not generalized puffiness within that whole area. It's a very specific area that you can feel. It's not a lump. It is a fluid-filled cyst, but it must be taken care of appropriately. I hope this basic information has been helpful. You can see below for more information and stay tuned for the best exercises to do immediately after surgery in order to prevent seroma formation, lymphedema, and a whole host of other issues. My name is Lisa Berman Silvestri. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist, and my goal is to make us all lymph smart.